Alrighty, we are back for the final tournament. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Bass and World Championship at the Bluestone Lake. The top 30 pro anglers are entered. There will only be one winner. The winner gets a new truck and a boat. You know the tournament rules. If you win, you can fish anywhere. All right, I believe Hank Parker is entered in this tournament, and uh, if you don't win, I think he will win. But this is it. Everybody, bring your A-game today, because the bass in this lake can get pretty big. Pretty big. I was thinking back, I think I have showed off, or shown off um, a bigger bluegill, so I'm not going to have to worry about that. And of course, I've shown off a catfish. So as far as the uh, non-bass fish, or well, fish other than a black bass, I don't, I'm not going to worry about it showing off any of those in this lake. Uh, one thing I am going to show off is uh, if I can find a big spotted bass, I am going to catch him and I'll show him off. Um, see. Other than that, we're just going to go for the biggest bass. And like I say, by the time we're done with this lake. We're not going to have any spotted bass to weigh in, I don't think. Um, you want to get five big bass and you want to go to the weigh-in with those five. And uh, unfortunately, spotted bass, <laughs> they just don't get big enough uh, to even really want to bother with. You want to go for the biggest the biggest ones, which are largemouth. Uh, real quick, as you cruise along, keep your eye open for good open water water areas with a little bit of activity at the bottom. Uh, those are good places to fish in this lake. Um, you don't necessarily have to, but it's a good idea to just to just to keep um, keep a good balance. First place I like to go is right here to the bridge, and I like to start right here to the right. And let's check it out. There's a little bass. I don't think we want him. He's just not he's not quite big enough. We're looking for the big boys. Kind of cruise along. Does he come to each pillar? Check him out. There's a bluegill. I've already shown off a big, shown off a big bluegill, so I'm not going to bother with those. Find a fish you want to catch here at the bridge. Uh, a good bait to use would be a crankbait. Crankbait. Um, you could also use a crayfish uh, or a minnow, but I think crankbait is is good for the bridge. I think the bridge is just about the best place to fish at this lake. The lily pads and the dump here are also pretty good too. And you can find some good open water areas with some big bass. Yeah, not having much luck here. Okay. Let's move on. Next place I like to go is I like to go up north to the lily pads. Watch for open water. Oop. There's some deep water weeds. We do want to check those out. Let's check these out. Not what 
we're looking for, I don't think. Yeah. No, I think we can find them bigger than that. Pads. Haven't fished here since the very first lake. Oh, there he is. I believe that's a big bass right there, so let's try to catch him. Now, if you hook one of these big bass, just do your best to bring him in. And it's going to be a fight, believe me. And don't get discouraged if you, if it just, I mean, 30 minutes go by and you still haven't caught him. Don't get discouraged because not every one of these big bass are completely just impossible to catch. You will eventually find some that you can catch. But it is a fight, believe me. Trying to get these big boys in. Hopefully he won't regain any strength. I hope he's not too small. I'd like to catch some some bigger. I'd like well, I'd like to catch a really big one. Uh, just in this first video. Eh, not bad. 14 pounds. He's a keeper. You never know how things are gonna play out in this on this lake. That was way easier than I thought it'd be. Let's check this area right here out. Okay, he's too small. Those guys, okay. Let's kind of cruise out this way a little bit. Try to find some good open water area. area out. There's some activity down there. Might be some underwater trees. Yep. Okay, we don't want him. He's too small. There's a big boy. Let's catch him. I 
All right. Let's go with crayfish. When all else fails, use the crayfish. That's my motto. <laughs> These big, these big boys like this, you can kind of wear them down, but then <laughs> they do have the ability to kind of regain some strength, so they can go from yellow right back to gray and then to blue again, just like he's doing right here. Stay on him. Work him, wear him down. Let's hope this game's good to you. Where are you down to? All right, we got him. Let's see what we got. Thirteen point eight. Not bad, but we can definitely catch him bigger than that. Got a little bit deeper. Let's give this area a shot. All right, we don't want him. All right, let's try. Some activity down there. Let's try this. A little deeper. Crayfish would be perfect for this area too. Alright, we don't want them. Yeah, nothing here. Bridge we go again. Moving on. 
just had a pretty good luck at the bridge. I'm surprised we haven't found anything yet. Might be too cloudy. this out. Okay, we don't want him. He's too small. We don't want these. Anything else here? Fish there. Don't even bother. Nothing, nothing. Nothing there that you want. near the dump. That's a nice lure. That's good luck. Add that one to your tackle box. So, we have found the final lure in the game. It is a backtail jig. Not a bad lure. If you lose both of your crayfish, I would, I'd give it a try it's not a bad lure but definitely uh, while you still have your crayfish use it in the deep water and if we can find something here at the dump we want to use a crankbait we don't want him he's too small Fish there? Yeah, okay, that's a, that's a bluegill. Alright, so there's nothing here. I like to kind of follow this rotation here that I'm doing. I think there's some more dump on the other side. Let's head over there. Kind of wanted to okay, we passed up a open water area that we might want to check out. All right, that's some activity in the shallow water here. So let's check this out. at the buoys. There's nothing that you want there. Well, a lot of medium-sized bass, but no big boys down here at the dump so far. Okay, 
here's some ladder cover. Let me find something here. Okay, he looks too small. Anything over here? Yep, two little ones. Well, bummer. All around the all around the lake, and only found two big boys. I don't think fishing here. Yeah, I think that's just gonna. Yeah. I don't think you can fish. I don't think this will calculate to a good area here. Yeah. I think that's just just one of the docks here. So Back to the bridge here. Okay, so that's kind of the rotation that I like to follow. Just go ahead to the bridge, lily pads, back around to the other side of the bridge, and then down to the dump. And then keep your eye out for open water areas on your on the way to each each individual area. Got a few minutes, let's fish a little bit more. Maybe find one more, catch him before the end of the video. Like to catch something at the bridge. I've usually had, usually have pretty good luck. Fish under the bridge is usually pretty big. I would imagine that if it was a sunny day, that I'd probably be able to find something. But since it's cloudy, I imagine the fish are the big fish are out in the open water, feeding where where they can. There's a catfish. We don't want him. That one's too small. It's not too hard to win this game as long as you as long as you can manage to catch uh, five big bass like the big ones like the, the two that I just caught. I don't think it really matters what or how much they weigh because I think even the lake record is around, um, I think it's in the 60 pound range. So, of course, you know, if you caught, if you caught five fish that were 12 pounds, whichever, which any one of those would be 12 pounds or more then uh, you'd already have 60 pounds in the boat, so it's not going to be hard to break the lake record, much less win. And it's raining. Alright, now that it's raining, maybe the bridge would be a good place to fish. And it looks like it is. There's a big one. Alright, I've got five minutes. Let's see if I can catch this guy. Sure, be nice to catch three big boys. 
that get three in the boat right off the bat. Much easier. Let's see, his power meter, he went from being almost completely yellow all the way back up to blue, so these big boys, they can regenerate some strength. Sometimes uh, it kind of messes with the sound. You don't really necessarily hear the tension meter. That's just how it goes in this game. Alright, well I'm going to cut the video and uh, I'm going to pick it up somewhere, um, but again, just uh, take your time, uh, follow the rotation that I did around the lake and uh, look for this size of bass and once you get five of them in the boat, you should be good to go. Uh, you should be able to win the tournament without any problem. If you're trying to just completely shatter the lake record, then use as much time as you need and head back to the marina. Uh, I'm going to try to find some spotted or try to find a big spotted bass to catch and uh, I'll, I'll cut that video in and um, I will catch y'all on the next video. Appreciate everybody watching.